Hi, this is Steve from NXP, and I'm going to talk to you about the transition from uh, DDR3 to DDR4 for the temp sensor and SPD. Uh, as you know, Intel came out with a standard where they wanted to have a temp sensor on a uh, RDIM module so you can sense what the temperature is and not exceed 85 degrees C. For, for DDR3, it operated at 3.3 volts, 400K hertz, and it was a 2K bit SPD. So there was a combination device that had both a temp sensor and a, and a double EEPROM. So it had both. Uh, for DDR4, it's going to be backward compatible to DDR3, uh, operate at 2.5 and 3.3, up to, up to 1 megahertz for the fast mode plus. And uh, the SPD size has been changed to 4K bits. Uh, JEDIC Task Group is still talking about this, uh, but it looks pretty firm right now. Is this the direction uh, that we're going to go? Uh, we had the old uh, DDR3, the NXP device SE97B, where you had uh, all the different information here for the temp sensor, uh, power on reset, uh, temp sensor elements, interface here for the uh, I squared C bus, SM bus, the event output, the 2K double EEPROM, and the four address pins, A0 with the over voltage protection. For uh, DDR4, uh, the 2K bit SPD is going to be changed to four blocks of 1K. Um, there's going to be no more uh, permanent write protection and you're going to have software reversible write protection for each one of the, the blocks so you could individually set write protection on each one of the blocks. It'd be a, a reversible write protection. Uh, the speed's going to go up to, to 1 megahertz. It's going to be a fast mode plus bus still with the SM bus timeout. Uh, the three address pins will still be there so it's backward compatible but you're going to get four states from the A0 pin so you can support uh, four SO DIM devices with one address or one pin and then eight devices using A0 and A1 uh, but be backward compatible to DDR3. Uh, the voltage range is going to change and now there's going to be power on reset levels specified. Uh, it's going to turn on by 1.6 volts and turn off by 0.9 volts as you power down. Uh, again there's the temperature sensor address which talks to the temp sensor and the combination device. There's the double EEPROM address which talks to the double EEPROM whether it's the combo device or a standalone SPD. And then there's also the, the double EEPROM software protection or the software write protection address which is a different address that you actually go in and set the write protections for the double EEPROM. That's the same for both, uh, for, for both DDR3 and uh, DDR4. Uh, what's going to be unique again for, for DDR4 is there's going to be only two address pins but these two addresses will decode to the eight LSAs just like you did for DDR3 and that's going to be done by the SA0 pin having four states either to ground, supply, or pull up resistor R1 or pull up resistor R2. So you get the four different states here, uh, two different states for SA1, you get eight different addresses for RDIM or you get uh, four different addresses, just pick four of these here for the, uh, for the uh, SODIM. And uh, what they're going to do then for the double EEPROM to make sure it's backward compatible is you're going to use the same sequence as you transmit uh, or uh, communicate with the double EEPROM where you have the address, you have the word byte, one of the 256 bytes within the page. Um, and then uh, you have the data. And so you're going to talk to either the, the lower or the upper the same uh, sequence, but within the write protection byte here, you're going to send a command to that and you're going to tell the device to either switch to the lower or the upper page. Uh, and then you use the same transmission in order to talk to, to the uh, double EEPROM. Uh, the temperature accuracy is going to be the same. There's no change there. It's a grade B accuracy. Area of interest is around 85 degrees C. Uh, there'll be no grade uh, C accuracy in the spec that's been taken out. Uh, and then one of the things that NXP has is a new Fast Mode Plus uh, development board. It operates at 1 megahertz. Um, it has two I squared C buses and uh, it has four different expansion ports. Here's port A, B, C, and D. And uh, we're going to offer cards here for the temp sensor combination device that can be used on the fast, the fast mode plus board. And there will be the GUI interface. This shows the temp sensor operation 
uh, all the different features for the device, the different addresses, the three different wi windows, the upper, lower, and critical alarm window, and then you can read the actual temperature, set the SM bus, read about the device. Uh, so this would help customers use our devices. Thanks for watching.